Namaste children. I am Deepa, working as English faculty in VET. Dear children, how are you all? I hope you are all fit and fine in your home. Dear children, we all know that due to corona pandemic, the whole country has locked down. We are started to give in a classroom atmosphere to continue our studies. Dear children, this help you make the session more interesting. Okay children, today we are going to see a new lesson from workbook, chapter number 2, all around the world. Children, in this lesson we are going to see a, we are going to study about a prominent person or well known person. He is an explorer. So, what is the meaning of explorer? Explorer means a person who explores a new or unfamiliar area. So, here in this lesson, we are going to see a explorer. So, what is the name of the explorer? Gunnar Buffer. So, the name of the explorer is Gunnar Buffer. So, Gunnar Buffer is a Norwegian explorer. He is not only an explorer, he is an author, media professional and public speaker. Gunnar Buffer is one of the few persons who literally visited 198 countries in the world. How many countries? 198 countries in the world. He is the younger achiever to achieve this feat. On a, working on a full time job. So on a full time job he travelled to 198 countries. Children. Children. Let us study about his childhood. He was born in Hammerfest in Norway. On May 29, 1975, his father died at the first and he is a retired medical doctor. While his mother wrote Beret Stensitten the first, she is a retired teacher. Well, the first like to say that traveling is in his blood. He was inspired to explore the world at the age of four. When his father was working on a cruise ship in the Pacific Ocean, Guffers couldn't read. So his father recorded these amazing tales and audios, cassette tape and sent home. His brother and he, that is Guffers' brother and Guffers, ran to the mailbox every day to check for a new envelope with the new stories, amazing, amazing stories inside. But they only arrived twice a month or so. And on those days, they sprinted back to their house. The cassette into the cassette player and pressed to play. They listened in very amazed, in wonder. And he promised himself that he would travel like his father when he grew up. Children, Gavas has visited every country in the world twice. And he is the youngest hobby traveler to have done so. On 18th June 2012, he set a Guinness World Record by being the first to visit five continents at the same day. The same day means in 24 hours. Within the 24 hours, they visited five continents. And also beat another Guinness World Record on February 2, 2018. That is, when he circumnavigated. Children, what is the meaning of circumnavigated? Sail or travel all the way around the world. So, when he circumnavigated the world via the six inhabitant continents on scheduled aircraft in 56 minutes, in 56 hours and 56 minutes. Children, so this is about the first. And one more thing, he published a book 
of adventure those travel in 198 countries 198 how ran out of countries so he published a book of those travels okay let's go to the lesson okay children see there are one many countries on the world map gunar the first has traveled to all of them read this interview with a 41 years old norwegian explorer so he is a explorer isn't it so he is a well known person so he got an interview so in this interview they asked many questions apart from that they are given up only five questions in this lesson so he shared his experience let us see the first question what made you decide to travel all the countries in the world what made gaffer decide to travel decide to choose determine to travel all the countries in the world so the first question should have to the guna gaffer so let's see what he has answered i was having a party for my friend in 2009 so usually we are also attend some many parties isn't it so the same thing the gaffer's friend had a party so the friend has invited the gaffer for his party on 2009 which year on 2009 so he has he has also gone to the party i had already traveled to 85 countries by then so in that time he had traveled already 85 countries so how many countries he had traveled 85 countries by then i told a friend that i would visit the remaining 113 countries too so he just shared his ideas or plan to his friend the first shared his idea to his friend that is he wanted to visit 113 remaining countries when he said to his friend all the friends are started to mock him they are kidding him so how he is kidding there is no chance you will do it there is a no chance there is no possibilities there is no possible you have no chance to visit those countries like that they are mocking they started to mocking his friend so he got first he said so i took it as a challenge and began to travel so this may the friends are not na so that may that is a challenge so they took it that as a challenge so they they, they accept the challenge and they began to travel second question shoot out to the gunas kapoor how did you fall in love with traveling the second question asked by the interviewer how did you fall in love with traveling so how did gunar kapoor fall in love develop a deep love in traveling so the answer my family and i travel a lot when i was in so usually the family and he they travel a lot in their engage our is a large family i have six brothers and sisters so gaffer's family is very large so very large means they have he have six brothers and sisters so if it is a small family means for that two or three but it is a large family so they have six brothers and sisters so my parents bought a huge caravan and we would set off on exciting holidays so for that his father or his parents bought a caravan a big caravan what is the meaning of caravan a vehicle pulled by a car a person who can live so it is a vehicle that is towed by a car why they have bought a car caravan because this family is a very large so the parents bought a caravan and with the with the with the caravan they are travel the exciting holidays i travel with them for the first time when i was 17 i was 17 so 
recollect their remembers that the place they have been visited so what he has answered of course he said the, the first said of course obviously certainly he remembered it recollect everything because i remember all the details from every country i have seen so i remember i recollect all the details which i have visited because i love traveling so every country i have seen you can never forget your hobbies the things you love so when you fall in love we can't we can't forget those things isn't it so if we are if, if we are deep love in a hobby we can't forget anything also he said an example look at the football fans they remember every player just his number if you watch football how many players are there so in each team there are 11 players 11 players so the football fans are remember the each and every football player just his number just is a shirt that is worn by the players of a sports such as football so the player worn a shirt no that called as a jersey so football fans remember each and every player's jersey's number and also and also um, that is height and the goal number everything because they love the most go to the next question how do you earn enough money to travel so much so the interviewer asking to the photographer how do you earn money to travel so what is the answer i don't buy much i have a good job and i use all my money to travel so he had a good job so usually when we are visiting to some other places we can buy a memorial things isn't it but ganagafar did buy he didn't buy anything from that places because if they buy many things means no money to travel isn't it so he don't buy Needs to 